Well, hello there, Meg's here. How's everyone doing today? I hope you are all good. Um, I have a little surprise, exciting news. I'm having a little sale, a little Christmas sale. Um, I do realize that it is close to Christmas. <laughs> so, um, with as crazy as things has things have been crazy lately, so I didn't get as much done as I want to. But I figured there are things that I can do to still sell before Christmas. And there are some things I can do to sell up until the New Year if you are interested. We'll get into that in a little bit. So let me get my little handy dandy notepad so I can write stuff down and find my pen. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I am so glad to be here. If you're just now joining me, I hope you enjoy yourself. And um, please, of course, I have to say please like and subscribe if you think this is good and um, don't be afraid to comment. I love emails. Um, welcome to all the new people, especially if you're new to junk journaling and mixed media and all that fun stuff. I haven't done a lot of mixed media at all actually, <laughs> um, but I'm hoping in the new year, well I know for sure in the new year we're going to get to new stuff. So don't worry, this isn't just a junk journal channel. Also coming up soon, um, we're going to be doing um, a snow globe. We're going to be doing a really cute Christmas votive that you can use for decoration and I know it's going to be kind of late in the season to do it but I'm still going to do it because it's something easy that you could just run to the dollar store and grab if you wanted. Um, and what else? I just have a few more things for Christmas up my sleeve. So I'm still in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> so anyways this is the oops, oh goodness of course I knock you right at the beginning, right? I at least should wait 10 minutes before I start doing that. Okay, so this is the first thing that I have for sale. Okay, this, if you remember, if you've been watching, this was going to be one of my little book journals. I was going to have it inside of this little box, which it's so cute, but I did not like how it was coming out of this box. It was tearing, and excuse me, it did fit, but I don't know. I wanted to put it in there, but I decided to make a beautiful tassel instead. So let me just show you this. Um, and then I'll get to pricing and all this stuff. I will say right off the bat, so you don't waste your time, I would like this to be U.S. Well, okay, here's the deal. U.S., I'm going to ship to U.S. Um, and the price, this is the sale part. The price will include um, shipping for the U.S., okay? So that's the sale part. And then... Um, if you, I think, as far as I know, I only have one Canadian person and one UK person that watch. I, you know, I don't know all of you, but there, I don't have a lot of viewers. I think I know a majority of you. So if for some reason you are out of the U.S. and you really want this, um, and you're okay with paying for shipping, I can, you can just email me. And the first person to email me that wants this and has PayPal, um, because that's how I'm doing the, the payment, that's who I'm going to you know, sell it to. So, um, but if it happens to be somebody that is okay with paying for shipping to wherever they are outside of the country, you know, the thing is, I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. You know, I get nervous about if something were to get damaged or lost, I can't be responsible. So just remember, keep all that in mind and you, you would have to pay for shipping as well. Um, but if that's the case, I also would probably lower the price a little bit for you. And we'll talk about that because I want to be fair, but I'm pretty sure most of my viewers are from the States. And so in saying that this journal, um, the shipping will be included. I'll go over the price in a minute and just keep in mind all the work that you see. This one's really decked out. The next one will not be that deck, this decked out in case you want something more plain. But, um, so first of all, we have, this is the cover. I'm going to stand up so I can make sure I'm in frame the whole time. <laughs> I have a, a tendency to go out of frame. This is the cover. So it's a paper cover that I, it, it's covered in decoupage and some, that, um, is some, tissue paper in the background and that was a little piece of ephemera that I cut out a sticker and then I painted this and this is a button and then we have two paper flowers I did the bookends on both sides we have some trim some beautiful beautiful gold fabric this is like upholstery fabric and then that's that view and then this is the back and then this is the side it's enclosed it's got a little grommet there and then I put a little, <laughs> this little guy on there, he's so cute. And it's just elastic with a little doorknob. So that works out and it still has room 
It, well, it's pretty thick, but I mean, it does lay flat, so if you wanted to add some stuff, remember when I show you this, you can always take out what I filled in the pocket. So I just wanted to basically put little things in each pocket so you know that the pocket or tuck spot is there. You can always take it out and put a picture in there, put your own little piece of ephemera, decorate it how you want to do. You can always take out the stuff I put in that is removable, you know. So remember that, and that will take out some of the chunkiness for sure. Okay, so the tassel that I fought with the other day. This is not a Tim Holtz, um, I forget what they're called, ring thing. This is um, a really sturdy, heavy one. So it is not going anywhere. It will not come off, I promise. Oops. Um, and, oh, isn't that cute? I put that in the top there, too. So first let me show you the tassel because I was fighting with it on camera the other day when I was trying to show. And I didn't get to really show you how gorgeous it came out. So this is the tassel. It is removable and then you have this beautiful thing that is removable that I, I learned, I think I learned this particular tassel technique which a lot of people do it this way from I'm a cool mom. I loved how she did hers years ago and so I've been doing it like this ever since. And so this is how it looks. It's got a key. I beaded all of these myself. I put all of these beads on here myself and then I attach them. There's a little mouse on there. We have a branch. Just some really pretty beading. I hope it's showing up on camera. Little ball. I didn't get to put as many bells on here as I wanted, so I put them on this. I actually forgot them all together in the tassel, so. <laughs> but that just goes alongside of it, and that would make a really cute keychain, too. Um, and then here is the beautiful tassel that I fought with. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, it was so pretty. I think that's what I was fighting with, the chain on camera. But this is how the tassel turned out. I put the gold around it to match the um, spine, and then hidden inside, we have all kinds of beading. So pretty. So we have this beaded piece that I did. There's four of them, and then there's one up top there. So there's that one. Kind of pull it down like that. And then we have a couple more hidden in there. So it's so cute when it moves, you can see the beads. There's one. So it's just really, really pretty. It goes with the book so good. And there's another one right there. So there's like four strands of beads, Christmassy, and that just attaches really easy and comes off really easy. So if you want to work in the book and lay it flatter, you can totally t take this off. Oh, and I just took the, <laughs> I just took it out. I'll put it right back on. That's the other thing. I didn't glue it on here in case, you know, in case you wanted to take it off and put a bigger, um, a bigger thing on here. So what are those called? Um, book rings. So yeah, it's not hard at all. See, it slips right in there and it won't come off. This is very sturdy, just so you know. Um, but if you want a bigger ring, you have an option to do that. There's a good hole in there and you can totally slip it in. But I like the tiny one. So you have options. You can totally do a different one if you'd like. And I'm spending a lot of time on this tassel, so we are going to move on. <laughs> so I'm going to lay that there. Okay, so I showed you the outside. We're just going to go in here. I did lots of work in here. This is the inside cover. Now, if you remember, when I was showing you all the different snow techniques I did, we tried the, um, we did, oops, the snow, the deco art snow writer. My favorite was the, um, the deco art, is this deco art? Nope, this is Marvy snow marker, obsessed with this thing. That's the first one I'll show you. And um, I did some glitter, glow-in-the-dark glitter in here for a snow technique, and we did some of this. So I'm just going to show you all of them. This snow technique is in here. So yeah, I did lots of different snow techniques. Whoa! <laughs> so the first one is this 3D snow. Can you see that? It's so cute. It's really puffy like a marshmallow, and it's not going anywhere. So it won't rub off. It's not. It's very sturdy stuff, but it is 3D. You can see that it looks so good on embellishments. So, so yeah, <laughs> just really cute. So let's get through this. We just have a tuck spot, and all the pages in here are either coffee dyed or avocado dyed. So I did all the dyeing. I think except one thing. I got an. Um, I bought. I'll show you when it comes to it. So we just have this tuck spot that I did a little um, cluster that I sewed on. Lots of sewing in this book. Oh, I skipped a page already. Okay, sorry. So I did lots of my beautiful inking. I'm kind of 
known in my books to do my distressing backgrounds, which I love. I like to distress with different colors and use my water and heat it up. And I get really pretty backgrounds that way. So that's just one out of many in here. Um, I did this with stencils and um, distress. And then I did the snow. And I started out with pen. Didn't like how it was coming out. And then at the bottom I did the... Um, um, what is that? Faber Castell markers. So, so yeah, just a little stenciling, some stitching, and we have more stitching. And this is just a little card, so you could totally put something else there if you wanted to see for Christmas. Avocado coffee paper. Then we have another out. You know, that's the avocado. This is just a little um, collage. I I didn't really like this. Came out like a more of a pinky red, just on its own with the water squirted on it when I was inking. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> this is all from a Christmas um, crossword puzzle, and yeah. <laughs> and then there's some really pretty inking that's got like shimmer to it, and this is really gorgeous. Look at this. It's this is um, parchment paper, and it looks so, like, ancient. I don't know. It's gorgeous. <laughs> so this is another snow technique right here. This is with that snow that I showed you in the little container. And it's pretty sturdy. A little piece came off there, but it's really not going anywhere. I just kind of clipped it with my nail, but it's really not. It's on there good. Um, yep, on a piece of cardstock. And then... Some really pretty inking on the back of that. And then we have more coffee dyed, avocado dyed. I baked those in the oven. This is the snow technique that we did with this one, actually. And at first I didn't like it, but I actually kind of like it. Because at first I was like, that looks like bird poop. <laughs> but, you know, I'm honest. But no, I kind of like it. I think it, you can totally tell it's snow. It's this Deco Art Snow Tex, which is really thick stuff. It's actually really cool looking. <laughs> So yeah, it's cool. So that's what that is. It's not going anywhere. It's cement, basically. <laughs> it's snow cement is what I call it. And then, where am I? Oh boy. I'll move on. Sorry guys. There's a piece of ephemera in there. little card that I inked up. Then we have this. And this is just a piece of scrap that I collaged. A little tiny piece of ephemera that was inked on the back. He's carrying a tree. You can write on that. So there's plenty of pages to write or decorate it. If you want it just to be a lookbook, like a coffee table book, you can just put your own ephemera in it. So it's started for you, you know. I think that would be so cute. And it stands up perfectly. Um, well, there's beads underneath, so actually I guess it's not perfectly. But you can move them out of the way and make it stand, like, kind of at an angle like that. I thought that would be really cute. Okay, so there's this coffee dyed and avocado dyed. We have coffee dyed, avocado dyed. Then we have this little page right here that flips down and it's got more beautiful inking on it. So you can put a little secret in there. Little doggy, isn't he cute? Um, more inking. Now some of this ink did get on here, but I personally, and I'm not just saying it because it happened, you know, it's not a big deal. If I didn't like it or didn't think it was, you know, if I thought it was a big deal, I wouldn't put it in, keep it in there, but it's not. This is a junk journal, okay, so you have to remember, in my opinion, I like things to look really homemade, and that doesn't mean sloppy or junky, like, like not good, not, like, well made, it is well made, but there are things in here, like a couple of the stitches, and I'll show you when they come, because I'm very honest, had come out of one of the stitchings that I did, but if you didn't see it, you probably wouldn't know, and I put some glue on it so it wouldn't come off anymore. But I'm honest about that stuff. Um, nothing outweighs the um, prettiness of the book. Like, it, nothing bad. So, you know, if it wasn't good, I wouldn't try to sell it. So that's a Tim Holtz um, ledger stamp. And then we have some more inking. Like, this is the one. Can you tell? Probably not. But I did these little um, leaves here. They look like the little... Of course, I'm on the spot and I can't think of what they're called. Holly leaves. Um, one little spot right here. My ink, or my ink, my um, thread had broken inside of my sewing machine, and it was kind of an afterthought when I put it through the sewing machine, so I couldn't take it out, but, I, I mean, you can't even tell, it's one hole, so that's what I mean, you know, it did, and so, with that happening, I backed it, so it won't come out anymore, or anything like that, so it's in there pretty sturdy now, so, that's just something that happened. So this right here is a little collage, and if you're wondering what is all over it, that is a technique from um, Girl on the Ridge, Lori. I saw her do some wax, melting wax, 
beeswax with uh, a craft iron and I thought that was so cool and it's different and it's totally junk journal like I mean that's kind of the definition of a junk journal right there <laughs> so I did some wax melts in here and yeah it's, it's cool it looks like junk journal stuff so I did the wax on the Santa we have like a 3d present here some more um, this is a different stamp I think this is the other ledger stamp from Tim Holtz and then some more messy stitching that I backed. So most of the stitching on paper, since it is paper, I backed it and put little glue on it so it wouldn't come out. And then here I did, this is um, a little matchbook that I made. So it says a Christmas dream just with some scraps. And then on the inside there's little pieces of paper that you can write on. So it's a little matchbook with paper, um, coffee dyed paper. And then this is a little pocket and I just put a little... And belt, that's what I mean. I put this in here, but you could totally take that out and put paper in there or a picture, a little two by three picture maybe or something. So that's just in there for looks. Look at that die. Woo! Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I did different techniques for this one. I used, I did my regular dyeing. I sprayed it with water. I heated it up and then I went over it with like a uh, makeup brush, like a, with the big bloom on it and like did some like stabbing motions <laughs> with um, some different oxide spray so yeah it's really really pretty and it matches that that washi tape really good and then I just did use my little mini stapler because I love staplers and I put <laughs> the mini stapler so cute um, I stapled that tab on there here's another um, snow um, technique that's done with the writer snow writer and just a little collage I you know I totally forgot how many pages are in here it was in my head I believe it's like 80 so there's a lot of pages in here um, I did that and more inking again and then some stamping and then some more stamping so and then we have some coffee dyed paper with inked edges. Some of the pages you'll notice I did the edges of the paper like that and some of them I didn't. I wanted them to be all over the place but uniform at the same time, kind of, you know. Because um, I wanted it to have that really homemade junk journaly look. So more empty pages for you to do what you want on. Um, you could have somebody write a note to you if you want to leave it out for your guests. If you're having company, you could put a picture there. They're great size for pictures, excuse me. <clears throat> Of heartburn. <laughs> I just drank some eggnog, you guys. I had eggnog with spiced rum and cinnamon, and I made it into an eggnog milkshake because we had eggnog flavored ice cream, and it was amazing. I know, so much for my diet, but anyways, <laughs> it was good. So um, this is another collage that has decoupage on top of it to seal it in, and that was a scrap um, that's a vintage cloth. Uh, what was that? I always forget what it's called. Mm, why do I always forget the name of that? Because I forget everything. You know I do. But anyways, um, it's a vintage a piece of vintage cloth that I had. And um, I w rubbed, I was painting something and I rubbed some shiny um, Lumiere paint on it. The green paint. And I thought it looked cool. So I just put it down there. It says Winter Wonders, A Christmas Greeting. And then on the back of that, I love this page so much. I love it. So I saw this damask, that's what the pattern's called. Um, somebody had it in a digital download, I think. I saw somebody with it. They said they downloaded it. And it had the green and red damask, and I thought that was so pretty. Since I had a damask stencil, I went ahead and did my inks on the damask and did some spraying, as you can tell right there, so it smeared a little bit on purpose <laughs> and heated up, and I just loved how it came out. I did this little collage on top. It's got paper, just regular paper. The Santa Claus was cut out. It says Santa will know. And then there's vintage. That's from a vintage music book on the side, a Christmas song. And then there's that cloth, or cotton, and then some washi tape. And then look at this tiny little tag. Isn't it so little and cute? And then of course it's inked on the back. Just a little tag sticking out. That is avocado dyed paper. Look at the color I got on that. Isn't that pretty? That's just avocado. No dye or anything. I thought it was so pretty. And I inked the edges of that with some distress. More pretty avocado. That's some more of that gorgeous crunchy parchment paper. Beautiful parchment paper. What is that? Like ledger paper with coffee on it. 
And then this paper, oh, these are so cute. So I did these, I had some circle punches, and I was like, what am I going to do with those? Well, first of all, there is some of that 3D snow on that leaf, if you can see it. Um, it's like sticking out like marshmallows again. And the bird is so cute. I melted the bird a little bit on purpose so that it looked like he was coming out of the page. Instead of being able to see through the sticker, because it was a 3D sticker, you know. I melted him down a little so he was like part of the you know, sitting on the page, and then, or on the paper, and then it just opens up, and that's gold around the edges, it looks like dirty snow a little bit, I can put more white over it so it doesn't look dirty, but it's just gold ink, and I just did all of these little, it's a little book, and Merry Christmas, that's from, um, this is from an Ideals magazine from the 60s, and then I just put stamping, these are all different little stamps I put on there together, a little, um, regular postage stamp. Um, that's a dictionary page and a cutout. More stamping. Stamping. You get the idea. <laughs> Stickers and washi. Um, and then this little tuck spot. I just put a little cutout in there from my um, whatever they're called, my cutter. <laughs> and more of that um, Ideals magazine. And then we have this little tip in with the stitching on top. Um, isn't that cute, Nutcracker? So we have a tip in, and then there's like a little tuck spot underneath. I did, it's avocado paper with um, stamp, uh, different stenciling on the, behind it, layered stenciling. And then this is just a little, you know, paper to write on. Merry Christmas, little tag. So you can just fold that back up and get that back in there. We have a lot more to go. This is a big book. I'm sorry, I'm slow. <sighs> it's already 20 minutes in. I'm not even done with the first one. Okay. So then we have some more stitching. Avocado paper. This page is so pretty. It says, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. That's from Mrs. Coggs. Download. And then I, there's this little angel, which is so cute. And I put snow all over it. The 3D snow all over and then I just did this little banner and like a little collage and it's a paper clip and it says Christmas um, and it can come off it's just a little gold paper clip so I thought that was so cute and then we got more of that paper some more stitching on that side and then I covered up the stitching so it wouldn't come out with the little lace trims this page is awesome. I did this one on camera. This is a collage, um, like mixed media collage, I guess you could say. Um, so I took my little banner. I made it a flip. And that's that other damask side with this gorgeous Swans of Swimming. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's really sturdy. I just thought it was so cute. And then on top we did this collage with all these scrap papers tissue paper, napkins, there's regular cardstock, some of the Ideals magazines in there, washi tape, and then we went over it with gesso, and then we went over that with some um, wax, gold wax, and then did some sanding. It says the magic tree, because he's got a tree, and they're all carrying Christmas stuff, it looks like. It's a little vintage picture, so yeah, cute. Thought that was fun. This is from, um, what is this from? A little golden book. This is from the Tim Holtz. And this is from just a paper pad I had that matched the little golden book, I thought. Um, and then this is from that little golden book. It says, The Happiest Time of All. I put that Tim Holtz sticker on there. I thought that was so cute. And then we have this cute little pocket. It looks kind of 50s-ish. And we got this really cute Jingle Bells. It's like a, all different kinds of stuff on this collage. This really cute trim. A little stamp. Christmas stamp. Merry Christmas. All that pretty stuff on there. Sorry, I hope I'm holding that right. And then it's a vintage playing card. So, that's cute. Oops. See, I really embellished this, but there's still a lot of pages because it was such a big spine. So there's so many p empty pages, and it does lay down. And I have tried to write, and it's, it, you can write on it very easily. So um, so it's really cool that there's a lot of stuff in it, and you can still make it your own. 
So then this was just a piece of ephemera that I cut into a tag. And then on the back I did some pretty inking again. That really pretty background. It's got blues and turquoises and brown. It's a little bag. You can put it whatever you want in there. It says a visit from Santa Claus. And it's got Santa on the donkey. And I did more waxing on this one with that vintage music paper. Really pretty. So that's wax. In case you're wondering what the heck is that weird feeling. It actually looks really cool. But... Yeah, it's wax. Stamps, coffee dyed on the back, oh, inking on the back. And then here is my favorite snow page. Look at this snow. Do you see how 3D that is? It is super poofy. And like I said, you could push on it, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't do anything. Then I made a heart out of candy canes. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. The little bunnies. And then we have this gorgeous inking I did. I love that one. And then this is the only paper I put in here that's not my own um, coffee dyed. But this I purchased from Three Insistent Dogs on um, Etsy. Um, I pick, picked up some coffee dyed paper from her because she did, does beautiful work on her coffee dyed paper. So that's from her little pack I got. And that's the only one I didn't do myself in this book. Um, so yeah, this pretty pretty and then we have another circle um, this is Tim Holtz fabric back there then I cut up some tool, red tool then I did this little guy's snowman I did some more of that snow with gold around it um, and then it's just the same little booklet it's got Santa Claus back there every single page er, in this little tiny booklet has been you know embellished in some way but there's still some empty ones if you can write a little message on it Merry Christmas. It's just different colors than the first one. But yeah, a little snowman. Another snowman. Joy. Stickers. Yeah, so just like the other one. I did all those stamps. So yeah, that's cute. And then we have these little houses. So cute. And I got the snow on them too, of course. More snow. <laughs> then this one, I did this whole scene. If you can see it, I hope. <laughs> Um, I did it with my inks and um, stencils or stamps. I can't remember. Um, I think that might be a stamp and then the rest stencils. But I don't, I, yeah, I think that's how it goes. So, or they might be st all stamps. I can't remember. Stencils or stamps, whatever. It says Winter Wonderland and there's the baby and the mom or dad and then the other side finishes the scene. So there's a pocket. It says making a list. And checking it twice, and it's all, oh, that one's not inked, but yeah, that pretty, that beautiful paper, it's gold. Almost feels like fabric, that paper. Then we have more of that gorgeous um, avocado and coffee dyed. It, look at that, oven marks, I love it. And then this is a little, it says, all to sleep before Santa comes. And I inked blue around it. And this is cool. I made this little tag. It's nothing special, but it's just a piece of paper I made into a tag. But then I kind of made it so that on the other side, it kind of matches this collage that I did. It kind of goes together. If you pulled it out this way, it says December 25th with all the ink. I just thought that was cute. little touch there. Um, that's a really cute collage made out of beautiful papers. And this I got from an ephemera book that I purchased off of Amazon. And this is vintage music paper, just regular paper, and some dictionary page, I think. Or no, that's um, tissue paper. So yeah, it's a bag, so there's plenty of room in here to put whatever you want in here. Pictures or whatever. Then I got another tab, coffee dyed. This was that little book page that we made out of a uh, book page pocket filled with tiny ephemera. It says toy soldiers. There's just all kinds of little ephemera in each little tuck spot. I think there's one, two, three tuck spots in each little page here. So six little tuck spots. And then just more stickers or tape and more inking. And then we have the other side of that bag. See all that collage? Isn't that pretty? And then I put another one of those shopping lists, but this one I inked and I heated up. So look at this inking. It is so... I know I'm obsessed. I can't help it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. I get too excited over oxide ink. I just... It's everything to me. I couldn't live without it, I don't think. 
it's so fun once you squirt it and just heat it up it just changes and it makes me so happy so anyways there is the other side of that bag look at that beautiful tape isn't this is the tape I used I love it I've had it for a couple years now isn't that pretty it's just gold gorgeousness and I glued all the tapes I used I glued on with Fabri-Tac so it's on there nice it's not coming off um, I sewed this on and it's just a piece of ephemera with the little kids and then I just put a little piece of paper in there you can mat a photo on here I thought or you could write on it so that would be cute and then this page has blue that's from a 1960s ideal magazine cut out of just icy branches and then I put this on there just to match it kind of little Santa Claus ephemera coffee dyed that beautiful gold I did some stitching on this one this is the coming of Father Christmas all the kids are running to them and then of course they inked on the back lots of inking I told you lots of work done in this one this is the other side of that winter wonderland with the dad and the trees and I kind of made it look like he was behind the tree if you can see that and then I did different um, trees different sizes so that came out kind of cute. There's that with the snow on it, on all the houses. I snowed up every roof on there with the snow, the dimensional snow. And then we have, this is just glued on there and it's got like a little belly band with a little piece of ephemera inside. And if you're wondering what it is, like it's a little banner and on top there is all kinds of vintage fabrics on there except this top one that's a Tim Holtz fabric but the rest are vintage laces and then I covered them in gold wax and then I put this little guy on there so it kinda of sticks out the top and it's a little belly band type deal kind of or tuck spot whatever you wanna call it um, then this right here I love I inked up back really good so you can't see it that good but it is really pretty and then I made this little flip out so you could put little pictures, little two and a half by three, or what is that, two by three pictures on here if you can print those off. Or you can just write on them, but that's why I didn't cover this because I figured you could cover it with something that you want to cover it with. And I did not leave them as pockets. I glued them shut because this is so thick I figured you can just use it as a flip out instead of you know pockets because I know a lot of times I'll leave the tops open and you can shove stuff in them but that's why it's open so you could cover it yourself but that kind of give you an idea you can put something cute on it like this you could write here and then put a picture right there so I thought that would be really cute so you could fill that and then the other side is a little tuck spot with ephemera in it and then this is the other technique that I did last signature I told you there's a lot of pages in this one. Oh my gosh I can't believe it's already been 32 minutes okay the tree is gleaming rich and tall in the cold and frosty air and then this can you pick up that gleaming on there it's so beautiful I put art glitter glue and I put glow in the dark like beautiful fine white glow in the dark glitter on it so it leaves like this bluish white shimmer and it really does glow in the dark so that's cool this page glows <laughs> when you put it to the light for a while it glows in the dark not like you really need it to but isn't that cool <laughs> I thought it was so cool and this is stacked ephemera underneath that just to add give it dimension so I got a couple things under here so I thought that was really cute and then these are it's snow um, snowflake trim so cute oh I love it lots of inking then we have this pretty flip out so you can just write whatever you want in there all that pretty inking in there of course coffee dyed paper of course <laughs> and then this page is one of my favorites I just think it's so cute so when I was cutting out for another project a bunch of circles with my circle punch on this avocado dyed paper and I thought oh my gosh that would be so cute I could make that a pocket so I backed it with another piece of coffee dyed paper and I sewed it on I made a pocket and left the circle punches in there and I just drew these in gold and made it look like little hooks for the Christmas tree and it and then I found this sticker that says sparkling decorations so I thought that was so cute and then there's this big tag in there to kind of make the decorations look cute and so that's what it looks like it's just a big old tag with some really cute candy at the top 
and it can fit right in there and of course you can put whatever you want in here if you don't want to use that you can mount a picture or do whatever you want but that's a pocket up there and then I got this ugly Christmas sweater and then I put I'm feeling Christmassy <laughs> and I dyed it up look at that dyeing is that not the coolest I love the colors and how it came out I used like four or five colors to dye that and it just came out so good and I knew it would go through the front a little bit see how it went through the front so I used um, my earth tones at the bottom of the inking instead of the blue first before I did the water knowing that the earth tones would show through on the other side like this and I figured in my mind I was like this looks like a sweater after I heated it and everything it's all wrinkled it kind of looks like a sweater that the day after your ugly Christmas sweater party you know when you got your drink spilled on you and it's all wrinkly over the chair <laughs> I'm a nerd but that's where my mind goes I have to have a story for everything so yeah that's cute and then we got this gorgeous paper and that's nice and thick cardstock. Oh, and then, so this is cardstock, and it was white on the back, like stark white. But can you tell that's even glued on there? It looks like it's a part of this paper. But that is a dictionary page. So that is a dictionary page that is Mod Podged onto this. Well, it's decoupaged onto here. And, yeah, it's so cool. You can't even tell. It just looks like it's a paper. And then I did different inking techniques. I used um, oil pastels on here and um, some spray, just all kinds of different stuff. So I painted that up. It's got a shimmer to it, so it's pretty. I have a shimmery oil pastels from Sennelier. I love them. So more inking, little pocket right there, ephemera, coffee dyed gorgeousness. Um, there's a small page, avocado. This is just a cutout with some beautiful inking on it. I put this is from an old cookbook. It's Christmas cookies. And so I made it look like there was bites taken out of the sides <laughs> with my punch. So little bite marks. I thought that was cute. Um, avocado and coffee stained paper. I did both on that one. And that's the middle. We're almost done, guys. I know it's forever. I did another cookie part, a uh, cookie page. It says happiness. And I put ephemera inside that's inked. Really pretty. Another bite mark. And then this is the avocado uh, oxide. This has some messy stitching. Sometimes I, and I trust me, I know how to sew, I promise. But sometimes I like to do things crooked or I'll do it like curved and around. Because I feel like in a whimsical book or something like this, it adds like a childlike, um, you know, like a childlike atmosphere to it, or feeling, you know what I mean? So I, I kind of like doing messy stitches sometimes on purpose. So that's that, what that is. I thought it was cute. This is my favorite page of all, I think. One of my favorite ones. This is just, these are glued on, but these are all um, washi tapes, Christmas washi tapes all the way down, glued on so they're nice and sturdy. Piece of ephemera made into a pocket. Uh, inked up piece of ephemera inside you can write on. And then this is a mixed media page with all kinds of stuff. There's napkin on here. I sanded it. I think I did this one in camera. Um, gave it texture and um, just went over it with gesso and ink and then like the other day I took my watercolors and I was just splatting watercolor all over it and waxed and then it says glowing red and cheerful green in a sticker on the side. Just a mixed media page that I love. I love doing art. So this book is just filled with little artworks for me. <laughs> That's why I think it means a lot to me because I spend a lot of time doing stuff like that. But um, this is a tag, really sturdy tag, and I was going to just make it a tag that could go out, but I decided to make it a hidden spot where you can put a hidden piece in here. So you can't really tell that it's a, a pocket unless you knew. So just remember if you got this, that up here you can drop something in there, like a piece of paper that has a hidden note or whatever. But look how pretty that is. There's a pocket in the front. We have some just little cute little... Um, buttons and these little Christmas trees uh, then we have some, this little stamp I just wanted to show you that the pocket was there there's a pocket in the front I did my wire with the beads that I like to do it's like one of my things I love to do now I punched out with my punch some vintage music paper back there or that might be a print I don't know 
Uh, I can't remember. And then I did this at a corrugated cardboard. Then I heat embossed it with red uh, powder and then did some more of these pretty little Christmas trees. And then just stapled on some scrap papers. They were scraps, so kind of, you know, junky looking, which I like. And yeah, that's that. The other side of that beautiful Christmas sweater. And then we have another coffee dyed page. That is the other side of that hole punched. So it says Christmas finery on it. <laughs> and I, again, I drew these in. And, um, you know, it's just really cute. Another big tag in there. I won't bother taking it out. It's a big tag. <laughs> it's cute. There's coffee dyed. Last page, coffee dyed, inking, beautiful inking on that one. And then the last page, um, I put original down here. I put Sa from Santa's Workshop. I put that on there. And then um, right here is a little tiny message from me inside of here. It's a special delivery. Remember, I took that and put some paint all over it. And then inside, I just wrote my a little note that just says, um, what does it say? From me, created with love, and I painted it with watercolor, and then I just put my name on it. So you know that it's from me, signed, and with love, you know? And so I just love these. And if you can see this on the inside of this, I put these little, it took me like a hundred years to put, keep, I kept pulling out the, the, string oh my gosh but anyways um on the inside of the original I like to take it's just a note in case you ever have metal pieces like this and you didn't already know this I know Tim it works on the Tim Holtz little metal pieces like this ow <laughs> I hit my head ah, I want to show you really quick these little things right here um if you take like a Faber oh my gosh did I hit you again sorry a Faber Castell I want to make sure I didn't hit you I'm sorry about that uh, if you take one of these Faber-Castell gelatos or Tim Holtz um, crayons or whatever and you rub it on the inside, just rub it, rub it really hard. Since these are dimensional, you know, the letters are punched in, you just rub this in or whatever color you want of something waxy and then you take your finger and smooth the color off. Then you are left with the color inside of the letters. Just a little tip. So I made this one green in case you can't see it. It's got green inside and gold. So I thought that was pretty. So that's just a little tip there. And then we have, of course, the back. And it just looks so pretty with all the, you know, pretty trims and got our little guy. And it closes really easily. You just take it and, oops, my hand's being stupid. And you just, <laughs> and it's easy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's easy, I promise. No, I'm just kidding. It is. So then you just, you know, clip it there. And um, I love my dangles. You know, I can't make a book without dangles. So I got all this beading, too, that from where I sewed the book in. This one says holiday. We've got all these beads. So I spend a lot of time on this, you guys. A lot more than I should have, you know, but it is really cute, I think. And it's made with lots of love. And then on the top here, I just put this little, like, bell. Or bell. Yeah, it's got a bell, a little bell on it and a little this little guy and a little key so and I left all my little strings from sewing sticking out too just to add more character okay so finally that took like a whole 40 minutes to show you one book but I'm not surprised are you of course not you're on my channel slow crafty <laughs> I'm telling you I'm about to change my name so how much is this book well my sale today <laughs> Okay, so this book, where's my little notepad? This is going to be, with shipping, is going to be $40, okay? There's a lot of work done in here. I was gonna make it less, and I thought, you know, I don't wanna sell myself short. I know things are expensive during the holidays. Um, um, again, this is five and, a half, five and a half inches by three and five eighths, but there is a lot of writing room in here and a lot of room to make your own if you don't want to start one yourself, but you still want it to be your own and you want to do your own ephemera and everything else. Because it has an elastic closure, you can totally um, beef this up even more and just take out some of the, some of the ephemera I put in here are just like plain little cards. They're not super special. You could take those out, use them for your own project, and, um, 
and just put your own work in here and it can be more your style if you want to do something like that. But it's a really good like lookbook or coffee table book for Christmas. It would be cute for people to look through um, as like a talk piece, you know. I'll put this on in a second. I'm like behind the camera so I can't get this on, but it's super easy. And then plus all the tassel work and all that. So I just figured with um, all the materials, all the digitals, all the ephemera I bought and just everything that I put into it. Remember that includes shipping. So basically when the money, whoever emails me, I'll leave the email link below. Um, I'll leave my email address below. Email me, tell me you're interested in it. If you're in the U.S., it's $40. That includes shipping. So just remember what would happen is you would put the money into my PayPal. You have to do a it PayPal. It's the only way you can do it. Um, I'll give you, you know, we'll talk about it when you email me. Um, but once you put the money into my PayPal, basically I would be using that money to ship it. So depending on where you are, um, I have to look at shipping and everything. You know, just remember the money that you're that you're spending on it, shipping is coming out of that. So you, it's not free for you. It is just included in your price. So, you know, if I'm spending, you know, $10 to ship it, I'm only making $30 off of this. Not only. That's, that's plenty for me um, right now. That's a good sale price, I think. So just keep that in mind. I know when I first heard it, I'm like, oh, $40 seems like a lot. But um, I know people sell their books for a lot. I have a hard time pricing things. Um, because, you know, I just want to give everything away, but I could really use the money for Christmas. So, yeah, all these kids. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what that is. Okay, so let's move on. Again, I, this is called Jingle All the Way. That's what I'm naming it. So when you email me, if this is the one you're interested in, say I'm interested in Jingle All the Way, and we'll talk, Okay. Um, I would, sh by the way, I would ship this out the next business day. So if you bought this um, tonight or tomorrow, well, I'm not going to get emails tonight, obviously, but if you got it by, like, the earliest would be Monday. Today is the weekend. It's the weekend. So, like, if you bought it early on Monday and I could still make it to the bank, or to the bank, to the post office, I would go that day and send it. So um, that's how that would work. Uh, but if I didn't, it would be the next business day. So Tuesday, or if you bought it Tuesday, it would be Wednesday. I'm g obviously, if nobody buys this by in like a week, I'll just save it for a Christmas present. Um, so no harm, no foul. Um, speaking of this book, I do have another one of these. Let me show you. So that is Jingle All the Way. This is called... This is called Santa's Reindeer, not for any particular reason. There's not no Santa's Reindeer on it. It was in this book, and it fits in there nicely now. I have to cover it. It's not done. That's why I'm showing you, but it will only take me a second because I'm not doing to this one that I did to the other one. So basically, if you want one of these little books, I have one left. It does have the same papers in it. It's not done, as you can see. All I have to do is cover it. I did take all the papers out and, and cut them. And did all that. So if you want to just see real quick, flip through. It's all coffee dyed. Any place on here that there is white, I will dye that myself with the distress like I did the other book. So the difference between this and that one, it's not going to be super embellished like the other one. It's going to be something that if you want this, you will make it your own. Um, I even thought, well, maybe I'll put ephemera and stuff. I'm not going to. I'm. What I will include with this, I will include uh, maybe some fabrics, some laces and trims. Um, and... Like maybe paper bags if you want to, like some those little mini paper bags that you could put onto a page, that kind of thing. Maybe a couple of already pre-made tags, stuff like that. Uh, the thing is, a lot of my stuff that I have is digitals, and I'm not going to hand over digitals that aren't like put into the book. So, um, cause that's, you know, that can be stealing. I mean, there's a lot of different views on it. If you're giving it for a specific book, I think it might be okay to do that, but I don't want to, you know, offend anybody or take my chances and have somebody like, oh, you know, in case you didn't use it for this book and then you're taking ephemera that I gave you that was somebody's digital and using it for another book, that would be a sticky situation for me. So, but, um, with this, I will add this little guy. It's a little flip out. I'll probably put this in there on one of the pages. So this one will be on a page and it will flip out like this. And it's got this beautiful different papers on there. And then the other side is just as pretty. So this will be on there. I will be putting pockets in here. Some really cute pockets. Um, I'm gonna ink up all the white that you see. And it's gonna be all avocado. Beautiful avocado that I did. That was some of my favorite avocado dyeing. It's just really pretty papers. It's just like the other one. 
So I'll just show you real quick. Remember, all the white will be gone, so it looks vintagey. Um, oops, <laughs> it's four signatures, and I'll do pockets, like I said, a couple flip outs, a couple tags. Um, so it will have stuff in it, and it will be cute. It just won't be super embellished with um, pieces of like art ephemera that I do. Um, so I might do some snow on there again. I'll put some snow in it because I like snow. And I'll just basically leave this to the person who wants to write. Or if you want to make your own ephemera and put it in, you can. So this is somebody who wants to write or give this to somebody who likes to journal during the Christmas season. Um, it, it will be easy to journal in. The book does lay flat. See? it. Well, this is kind of stiff because it was just glued, but it does lay flat. So, um, and as you can tell, I made this out of a box, so it's not super hard, but it is a hard cover. Okay, and once I cover it with fabric, it will be even more sturdy. So I will put fabric on this. It's going to be super sturdy. The spine is like triple thick, more than this. So I like tripled the spine with the cardboard. So it's super sturdy, and um, it will be covered in fabric and paper or just two layers of fabric. So uh, it will be nice and sturdy. And then I don't know where I left off, but this is basically what the papers look like. Coffee dyed, avocado dyed. And then these beautiful papers that came in that vintage Christmas pack from Michaels. So just really pretty. So I hope I explained that good. This is what it looks like. And then there's one more. I don't know which one I showed you. They're all pretty much the same. Just different, you know, just, oh, I showed you that one. Different designs. So all I have to do is sew this one in. I only need a couple days till I can ship it out. So um, let me find my little paper. So the other one was $40. This one is going to be, after I'm done with it, it'll be $32. I know that's a weird number, but trust me, I have it all done in my head. <laughs> so this one is called Santa's Reindeer, and it's $32. That includes shipping for the U.S. Same rules about if you're not in U.S. and you want it, um, you'll have to email me and we'll talk about it. But you would mostly, you know, you would have to pay for shipping. So let's just say $32 for U.S., Shipping included, let me write that down, 32, that is Santa's reindeer, reindeer, okay, so that's number two, also number two, so the first one was called Jingle All the Way, that's also number one, this is Santa's reindeer for $32, number two, that is anywhere in the U.S. shipping included, okay, so that's number two, oops, First person to email me, just remember. Now we have just a couple, um, oh, shoot, I meant to say, okay, so in the email, okay, if you want a tassel for this one, it's going to be four extra dollars, so I didn't plan on making a tassel for this, so, so it'll be, um, 36 if you want a tassel, so we'll talk about that when you email me, um, Actually, we'll say 35, sorry. I just saw that down here. So um, so it'll be so three extra dollars. So 35 if you want a tassel. Okay? So I just wrote that down. So if you want me to make a tassel for this, it, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time or anything. It would just be that same day. It, it really doesn't take a lot of time to make a tassel, but it is extra things, and it is it does take time. So um, it's just that, like my last tassel took me so long because I had to take everything out. I had to go through everything. I had to cut it all. I had to do all those beatings, but I did leave some out in case I needed to make another one. So it will be a little bit easier, but it is a lot of different, um, um, you know, it's a lot of, supplies and stuff so just a few extra dollars will get you a tassel if you're interested and if it fits in this box after I'm done with it without like ripping and tearing um, if you don't get a tassel I will send it with this box if you want I just don't want to send you something that's hard to get out and then have it get damaged I'll feel so bad so like I should have made it a little thinner but I wanted it to be wide enough to like write in and do something and you know and to decorate so it's like it looks so cute in there but when you go to get it out it's kind of a little bit of a nightmare and it's you know see it's like not easy and this one's not super hard to get out you could just tap it but still we'll see I'll see what happens we'll talk about it <laughs> 
Okay, so the next one, so that's Santa's reindeer number two, 32 or 35 with the tassel. Okay, this is the, this is so cute for, this is what I call the infinity, and um, let me write this, it's the bargain infinity is what I was calling it. We'll call it the infin infinity. This is number three, infinity, let me write this down. Okay. Okay. So, Infinity, now let me tell you, I only had one tin, but I saw that they have a whole bunch more of these tins where I bought them from. Um, so I'm going to go pick up some more. Now, I could probably do, I'll start out, if it's in the next few days that I get these orders in, I can do more, like probably like four or five of these, maybe six. I'm looking at my paper packs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you your options for this if you want to order one. And it only takes, it, these I can make really quick. Everything is, I plan on sending everything um, that is ordered like this, pre-ordered by, it, you know, just a few days. I just need a few days to do it. So, and that's a promise, you know. I, I know Christmas is coming up and you want to give these as gifts. So, I'll give you the date on, you know, when I can have it done depending on what you order with these next that I'm going to show you. So, um, so this is the Infinity, and it's, if you saw my Christmas gift, um, video, it just fits in a tin like this, and unfortunately, this is the only tin I have left right now, um, but it's just a demonstration, I'm just going to show you. So, this is the journal, it goes inside of the tin, and first of all, I have to say, I don't think this paper pack goes with this tin very good at all, I mean, it's not super bad, but... I don't really care for it, so I'm going to, if you want this particular one that's already done, I'm going to find a tin for this to go into um, that matches it a little better, like a little whimsical or, you know, like more snowy or something, I don't know, snowmen or something. And then this can go with my vintage paper. So first thing I'm going to show you is the journal itself, and um, then I'm going to show you the different paper pack options, and I'll number them. So if you want one of these, you can pick out the number of the paper pack that you want, okay? If you want to do that, or if you say, surprise me, I want this many, I'll just make them for you, okay? So these are going to be $20, and that's with shipping, okay? Because I wanted it to be less than $20, but obviously I have to pay for shipping, so you're going to be paying for shipping with the $20, basically. $20 shipping is included. Now, I just realized I this was the first time I had used this string for a tag that's in here, and um, now that I know that it does that, whenever I use it, I glue it so it doesn't come undone. So just so you know, I'm taking this off, and I will put something prettier there because that was ripped apart, and I won't leave anything like that in there. <laughs> so the Infinity Journal, if you didn't know what that is, it's a... Oops, it's, it's an accordion style. I could have just named it accordion, but for some reason, and when I look at it, I just, in, the word infinity gets in my head. <laughs> so, basically, it's long and skinny, and what I still need to do for these is I'm going to take some paper with these lines on it, or something like this, and, um, sorry, my handwriting's horrible, but I'll just cut out, like, you know, just some of the lines, or I'll make my own lines or whatever on paper, coffee dyed paper, or I'll ink it, and I'll leave a space for you to journal in on some of the papers. I also put some pockets in there, and so I'll just show you. Um, so it's all together, and so this has a pocket, so you could tuck something in there, a picture or something, and you could write on it, you could mount little pictures, if you have little mini pictures, you could put them on there. So basically it's just all these gorgeous papers, thick cardstock, so it's nice and sturdy, and I'll put some places to write, or you could just write directly on it, but I know it's kind of hard to write on stuff like this, you can't really understand what you're writing if you have follow la 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 everywhere. <laughs> So I'll be able to back some of these so you have paper that's on it that to write on. There's another pocket. I wrote, put a little pocket down there. And then that's just a little decoration. That's just a little Mod Podging on there with a napkin, little stickers. So I'll embellish it just a tiny bit, like maybe put a couple more pockets. And then you flip it when you get to the end, it goes the other way. So then you go back and you got even different papers. Different um, you know, different papers, different, why can't I talk today? <laughs> I really can't think of words. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so there you go. Different images. There you go. And then, to make it even cooler, most of these, except like one or two at the end, have, are, you know, made so that they're pockets. 
So I will put tags in all the pockets like this. There's one example. Here's a tag. Oops, I wasn't even in frame, sorry. There's a long tag. You can write on it. You can put something on it, whatever. And I'll put, you know, something at the top, a little string. Or Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Just the way I'm standing, you don't really see my setup. So I got the camera like right in front of me and it's really messing me up here. Anyways, it goes easily into the pocket once I can find the pockets. Okay, there we go. So it just fits right into the pocket, kind of. There we go. Yep, goes all the way down. There we go. You can have it stick out or you can push it all the way down either way. And so there's all these pages right and then you have all of those pockets on the inside so that's even more writing space so it's just really really cute it would be cute for a gift and you know you just go back the other way so once again I'll put more pockets like that not too much because I want you to do what you want with it it's basically an accordion so it just opens up it's like a mile long <laughs> if you could see that like a mile long but you just hold it like that so basically it's an accordion book and it's adorable and let me show you the paper packs and your choices now I can't show you your tin choices unfortunately you'll have to trust my designer abilities <laughs> that I will match a cute tin with um, oops sorry guys I know we're past time but I'll stop after this one I think I just have one more message after this one so Oh, shoot, we're an hour in. Okay, so let me just get this done real quick. Hold on. Okay. Get this on here. So then I'll put something cute around it, like to hold it together so it's easy to take out of the tin, because that is not hard to take out. It comes out really easy. It fits in there perfectly like a dream, with tons of room left, so you can fatten it up if you want. You can decorate. If you want this for like a look book or a coffee table book, you can totally fatten this up. You can put ephemera on it, stick it on there so it's just really cute to look at. You can write in it and then it just fits in this adorable tin that you can stick on your mantle or on your coffee table or just put it in somebody's stocking. Give it to your coworker or your sister-in-law or whoever, your aunt, and it's just really cute. You can use it for a white elephant gift. That would be cute. Um... Let me show you my paper packs, and then we'll be get this party over with. So if you do choose that, to order one of those, like I said, they're $20. That includes shipping. Um, yeah, and it's only $20 because of the shipping. So I was going to say like 10 or 15 but I can imagine shipping will be $5 or more, depending on where you are. So... So, let me show you the paper packs. Well, I don't want to confuse you, so let me just get... Well, yeah, I'll just do this. I don't have a lot of room here. Not these little ones. So, you can pick... We'll write... Let me write on the paper pack itself. Okay, so I have one spot. One or two. Let me see how many I have in here. Get one, two. I could probably do... I think I have enough to do one or two of these. I'm going to say two. I'm going to say two spots. Okay, so I can do two of the vin classic vintage. So I'm going to write, this is number one. Okay, this is number one paper pack, okay? So if you're interested in it, it's number one classic vintage. So if you're ordering one of these, if it's the this one that is already made is called Snow Day. If you want the Snow Day one, say I want Snow Day. Let me write that down. I hope I'm making sense. Okay, the one that's already done is called Snow Day. Already done. I just have to write this down in case anybody wants one. Okay, and then number one paper pack option is called Classic Vintage. Vintage, and I have two slots for those. So I can make two of these. So the first and second person to order this, or if you want two, the first person to order two can get both. So I have enough paper to do two of the classic vintage. That's number one. I have enough paper to do another one of Happy Wishes. Okay, I'm sorry you guys. Please don't hate me forever. Um, the first one that's already done, I forgot. This is called Happy Wishes. I have to re-say that. So if you want the first one that's already done, I still have a little bit of work to do to it. I'll put more pockets. I'll put more tags in it. Make it cute. Change the um, tin so it matches better. So this one is called Happy Wishes, okay? 
I'm sorry. So happy wishes. If you want the happy wishes paper pack, let me show you the um, classic vintage. I didn't even show you guys. I am just tired and this isn't going very well. I'm so sorry. You know how I get. I'm so sorry. Let me show you the classic vintage. This is a brand new paper pack, so I have to open it. Oh my goodness. This is where I get um, nervous when I start messing up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, they're going to think I'm so bad. I'm not doing it right. Okay, there we go. So let me just cut this one open. I forgot I got a new one. So, um, oops. I probably shouldn't use my left hand with the razor. I hate how they do that. I mean, I know they have to, but I just hate it. Okay. Let me get this. Eventually, I'll get the sticker off and we can look through it really quick. Super quick. I'm just doing a flip through. I'm not going to stop on every page. I just want to hurry up and flip through it. So this is what the paper pack looks like, and I will be picking the papers out of it, Just, but of course they're going to coordinate, and there's going to be a lot of different papers from in here. If not, well, I can't fit all of them, I don't think, but there'll be a ton, so don't worry. So these are the gorgeous pictures. I'm in love with this paper pack. I mean, absolutely in love with it. It's what I used in the small journals, but um, there's some that didn't make it in there. Just gorgeous paper. I'm obsessed. I really liked, been liking this, I love that, this um, Craft Smart brand lately. Oh, so good. Okay, so, oh, I love this one with the cute little deers. Oh, I have to do one with this. I might put this on the, I'm thinking about putting this on the cover of the small journal. I think that is something I might do. I think it would look really cute on the small Five and a half. Um, the Santa's reindeer. I was thinking about putting this on the cover. Isn't that cute? And then putting some fabric on the spine. I might do that. But anyways, yeah. So I have another paper pack of this. So anyways, I can do two of these. So if this is something you're interested in, it's going to be number one, classic vintage. And then number two, if you're interested in that, which is the one I made that I showed you, it's classic, or... Er, it's happy wishes and then I can do another happy wishes so I'm gonna say three all together I you can order three happy wishes because I have one already made one two three no I'm sorry two two I can order two there's one and I can make one more I actually use more of this than I planned on using so that's good so let's look through the happy wishes um, you saw all the papers from the happy wishes that were in this journal that I just showed you and then there's a couple extra that I didn't use, I think, I think, um, but yeah, we'll see. Just give you a fair shot of what it is, like this, oh, look at that, that's cute. Um, then we got, it's double-sided paper, so that's really cool. Um, yeah. So it's easy to do the Infinity Journal with the double-sided paper. I kind of didn't think about that because this one's not double sided and it's going to be harder but I can make it work. I'll make it work, don't worry. And then I just want to see how many papers I use. Give me one second really quick. Shoot. <laughs> So I'm just thinking, because it's not, I didn't think about that, duh. I don't know why I didn't think about that, that it's not double-sided. Let me see what else I have that's double-sided. It's good. It's just going to take a lot more work to do it with the without double-sided. So that would be kind of annoying. Let me see what I have. I thought I had this all mapped out right, but you know how it gets. That's okay. We'll make it, I'll make it work. So basically, when I double, when I do the um, the paper that's not double sided, which would be this, the other side there's going to be a lot of coffee dyed spots. So just remember that it's not going to be all, um, which is actually cooler if you ask me, because you'll have places to write and everything else. So there'll be some places that are like coffee dyed paper. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, so I can do that one. So we have number one, classic vintage, then happy wishes, and then we have this one. This is number three. Okay. Sorry. Number three is safe freeze. Please be opened. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, and I lost my pen. 
Okay, I'll write that down. Where's my pen? I am, everything's going crazy. It's always the end of my videos when I'm feeling rushed that um, things start getting crazy. So let me say, um, this is happy wishes. So, um, it's number two. Sorry, one second. Wishes um, times two. Okay, and then number three is safe freeze which is this, like a snowman one, so cute. And I can do one of those. So I have one safe freeze, okay, and this is what it looks like basically. Um, real quick, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I have matching stickers too to go with those, so I'll put those in there. So cute, wreaths, and look at the, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. So adorable. Look at all the snowman family. Oh, and I have the cutest fabric to go with this. I was going to do, oh my gosh. Do, like, can you imagine that on a cover of a hardcover journal? Oh, I might have to do that. Um, so, yeah. There's just some of this. So adorable. I love plaid. So there we go. That's cute. I love this page. It's like my favorite. It's got like the cars on it. Or the trucks rather. See that? Super cute snowman family. I'm trying to wrap this up. So something like this. Ouch. Um, yep. So then we have the safe freeze. So that's number three. And I can do one of these. One. Yeah, do one of these because I want to use the rest of it for another, like a big journal. So I can do one of these. So, so far we're at one, two, three, four, five. So that's five. Okay, so five spots. And then I have more. I have the plaid. This is going to be um, number four, which is the plaid. And I can do two of these. So if you want to order plaid, I can do two plaids. And here we go. We're to quick flip. You know what plaids look like. <laughs> plaids, plaids, plaid, 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 plaids. And if you want to mix a couple, if you want to message me and say, hey, can you put some plaids in with uh, my, I don't know, vintage Christmas? Sure, that's not a problem. No problem. You know, I can do stuff like that. I just think, like, you know, it's easier to say, okay, I got this one, this one, and this one. But if you're like, hey, can you put one of those pictures in, or one of those plaids in with my Christmas vintage? I don't mind doing that. It's not a problem. But, okay, so I can do, did I say two? I'll say two. I can do two plaids. And let's see, do I have any more? Nope, I'm out. <laughs> I know I have my, um, oh no, I'm not out. I still have more. I knew I was missing two. Oh, do I want to do one in that? I don't think I'm going to use that one. No, I'm going to use this one. I was going to get my pink Christmas one out, but I love it too much. I'm going to make a big journal out of it, I think. Let me see. I'll see. Hold on. So this is called North Pole News. I love this one. I'm making a big journal out of this one. So, um, and I have this really cute, I'm going to make this into a hardcover. This is side note news, but isn't that cute? I'm going to do these papers and coffee dyed papers with this beautiful cover. I'm going to use this pretty fat cotton fabric I got at Joann's. I know it's a couple years old, but I love it. I know it's not new. I saw somebody else use it before, after I bought it. I thought I've had it for like a long time and it's just so cute. I've never used it. It's got all that writing on it. It's just so cute. But it goes with this paper so good. Anyways, but this is for the Infinity Journal number five. So I have two spots, or one, I'm sorry, one spot for this. Number five, this is North Pole News. Oops, if you want an Infinity Journal with North Pole News, oh my goodness, this is the paper. And if you want to mix a plaid in there, I don't have a problem with it. But I think there's some plaid in here. Just let me know if you're interested. This is what the paper looks like. Oh, I love that one. Definitely, would that would make an appearance for sure. Oh, there's some plaid. Yep, some red plaid. 
and oh the sweater page I love the sweater page it's like one of the reasons I bought it I don't know why I just I'm obsessed lots of plaid cute cute I love how it has the numbers so I can make a December daily which is what I'm gonna do with the cover with that cotton fabric so I plan on making December daily I'll get to that right now after this okay there we go that is North Pole News number five. And I can make one out of this one. So, North Pole News. News number and one. Okay, so I have a total of two, four, five, six, seven. So I have a total of eight spots. So uh, eight opportunities. So we have classic vintage. There are two spots if you want. Happy wishes, which is like the one I showed you. There's that one and I can make one. So two spots for happy wishes. Safe freeze is the snowman one. I have one spot for that. And plaid, there are two spots for the plaid. Um, and North Pole News, which is this one, there's one spot for North Pole News. These are $20, but that includes shipping anywhere in the U.S. So if you live in Alaska, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. you know, I mean, it could cost me a lot to ship. I don't know yet. I'm going to do it the cheapest way I can, U.S. mail, but we'll see. Um, it will be packaged nicely and I ship good. So, um, you know, so obviously if you're, if I'm paying like 10 or $12, I don't think it would cost that much to ship, but just say it did. I'm obviously only making like 10 bucks off of it. So just keep that into account. T um, $20. So that includes shipping. So leave me in the email. You'll have to know, you'll have to rewind this or whatever and pick out the name of the paper pack that you are interested in. And I will match it with a tin. I have to get more tins, which I'm not going to purchase them until I get these orders in. Now, how long am I going to wait around for orders? Well, I don't know how long it's going to take for people to see these. If you want it before Christmas, um, if you want it before Christmas, I'm going to do this for a week. And that's all I can do because Christmas is almost here. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually going to say until next Friday. So, or next Thursday. Yeah. Um, that would be, you know, a long, I, I would have to really hustle to get it to you. And I, we want to make sure it's there by Christmas. Right. So, you know, um, I'm hoping that people will do this in the next few days and not wait till Thursday because I'm going to say, actually, let's say till Wednesday night because I really don't want to push it. But here's the other thing. If you don't care about, okay, look, I want this for next year. Okay. Or I want this for an office party. That's not till January 1st or whatever. Um, if you're looking for a sale, this is a good sale. So if you want the sale or anything in it till next year for next year or whatever, just message me and let me know, look, I, I want this, or can you make me one of these, you know, but I don't want it, you know, for Christmas. I can make better things, um, like, I'm, I'm mumbling, I'm sorry, let me, let me take a breath. I'm sorry, guys, you know how I get, I gotta take a breath. <laughs> what I was going to say earlier was, I wanted to also call this a Christmas sale, a Christmas gift sale. Okay, but the part two to that was I was going to say an end of the year Christmas sale, meaning I have some journals started. So I want to do some pretty journals like um, this is the last part of the video. <laughs> some really nice hardcover journals such as this using book covers and things, um, repurposed books, but I'm not going to leave the pages in. It's not a um, repurposed book. It's going to be pulled out into a hardcover journal cotton fabrics and stuff like that using some of these paper packs because I have doubles of some of these and I have a lot of paper okay um coffee dyed paper avocado paper if it matches because I do have this pink paper pack that I haven't made into a journal yet so like this is one I really love this sugar and sparkle this paper pack is so pretty and I haven't made a journal yet so I'm thinking about you know, making some really pretty journals, and I, I know they won't get done until right before Christmas, but I, I'm not sure if I want to even start making them if nobody really wants them. So here's the deal. If you want a hardcover journal that's really pretty for like a December daily, I want to make December dailies. If you want a December daily out of any of these paper packs that I showed, except 
any of these paper packs that I showed except the um what is it called the winter the happy wishes that one I won't have any left um but any of the other ones the uh the vintage classic vintage the safe freeze the plaid the north pole news or sugar and sparkle which is right here if you are interested in having a December daily or just a really cute hardcover journal in one of these and you just want it for yourself for next year or you don't care to have it after Christmas, um, and we're not talking like next month or anything, but just sometime after Christmas probably or around Christmas time, if you don't mind it being that time, message me and we can talk about it, okay? So I just want to put that out there. I'm not going to, I'm going to make what I make just to do it and if, you know, whatever, but if you want to order a journal, like a hardcover journal, we can talk about it, like what you want. Um, it's kind of like I want to have free reign of design, but I'm willing to um, kind of make it to order, like if you specifically just want coffee dyed papers and, and pretty papers and no embellishments, you can have a choice of that. If you want embellishments and you want... Um, you know, some handmade ephemera, I will do, you know, you can choose what you want. Yes, I want it embellished. No, I don't. I just want beautiful paper in it. The beautiful paper would include the paper pack of your choice. I would get to choose the cover and what I use, okay? But obviously, I will make it beautiful, I promise. But it would it would go with whatever paper, paper pack you chose, and I would fill it with coffee dyed or avocado dyed only. I wouldn't put white pages in it, because I don't like white pages. Unless you want white pages, that's up to you. But um, I also ha would fill it with, like, ID I have a ton of Ideal Magazine images, you guys. I mean a ton. And I know this video's long, but... Um, they're so gorgeous. The The prints on them are just gorgeous. And they would look good with any of these paper packs. Any of them. Um, and I can mix up some of the papers and stuff. from. It doesn't have to be one paper pack. Because this is thick paper. I would probably not use a ton of it um, You know, in the book. It's hard for me to describe. But I think you understand where I'm getting at. If you want to order a regular journal for my end of the year journal sale, let me know. Okay? Um... The prices would vary for a hardcover journal between $40 and $60, depending on what you wanted in it. Okay, so, um, but they would be hardcover. They would be fabric covered or paper covered with a fabric spine or whatever. If you want a tassel, we could talk about it. Um, embellished, it would have beautiful coffee dyed, avocado dyed papers, um, really nice things I can put inside of it. So just let me know if you're interested in the end of the year sale. That's what I'm going to call that. Um, so I'm going to leave <laughs> my email below. I hope I didn't sound like a noob, <laughs> a nerd. I know that, you know, this is my first time doing it like this. Um, every sale that I've had has been from people I know or people from, you know, um, social groups and stuff. And I've had people come to my house and in my art room and uh, in the recliner and look through my stuff and order like special things and I did journal sales like that um but it's been a while since I've done any sales at all and I certainly have never made a video to show people so it's kind of like ah nerve-wracking um so I hope that I know this is long and drawn out but my nerves were kind of whoo Thank you so much for sticking around if you did, and um, I hope it made sense. I hope these prices are fair. Listen, if you see this and you're like really wanting some, and you're like, please, I'm asking. I don't. I don't know if I should say this because I don't want everybody to tell me this. I really don't because <laughs> I do need the money. But listen, I'm a fair person. You know, if there was something that you really, really, really wanted, and we could work something out. Um, you know, I try not to do stuff like that just because for my security, obviously, I like to just be secure in money and just do the exchange because I do put a lot of work into these. But, you know, just message me, okay? Message me. We'll talk about it. And I'm excited to do business, you know, with some of you. And I hope that somebody buys something. I hope that you enjoyed yourself and that you can forgive me where I fumble. You guys have been so, girls have been so sweet to me <laughs> when I do. Because <laughs> we know that I do it a lot. Um, I get nervous and I forget a lot, I know, but it's because I'm on the spot. But thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Have a blessed day. Bye.